Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to go over how to find the lowest common denominator of three or more numbers. Okay, so say we have these three fractions, one half, one fourth, and one eighth, and we need to find a common denominator. So what we'll do is we basically need to find the uh, lowest common multiple of these three numbers. And so the easiest way, I think, is to go ahead and create a factor tree. So 2 is pretty, it's already prime, so we'll leave 2 as it is, and then 4 can become 2 times 2, and then both of these are prime, and then 8 becomes 4 times 2, and then 2 times 2. So now we're down to prime numbers, and we're trying to find the uh, lowest common denominator. So now what we need to do is anytime you have a pair you work it like this. Whenever you have more than one of the same number, you circle one and cross through the other. Circle one, cross through the other. Okay, and then I have one pair left, uh, so I will circle one and cross through the other. Now, all the numbers that are circled to find the common denominator, you just multiply them. So you have two times two times two, which is two times two, four, and four times two, which is now I'm aware with a, these three numbers you can look at them and see that it's 8, but I'm just, I started with something easy. I'll go through another easy example. Say we have 1 third plus 1 6 plus 1 ninth. I'm going to factor them, prime factorization, and 3 is prime, and this is 3 times 2, and they're both prime, and then 3 times 3. Okay, so now I go through the same process. Anytime I have more than one, I circle one, cross out the other. There's not another two, so I will circle it. So that tells me we're going to divide this so I don't make a mistake. Circle one, excuse me, circle one and cross out the other. Sorry about the little mistake there. So now I have three times two times three, which is three times two is six. Six times three is eight. Okay, so there's another one. Let's go ahead and work one more, and I'll get one a little bit more challenging. Okay, and I'm running out of paper, but that's okay. We'll work it right over here. Let's go um, 1 fourth plus 1 twelfth plus 1 fifteenth. Okay, sorry for the left hand there. Okay, and... So what I need to do is find the prime factorization. So I will go 4 is 2 times 2, and 12 is um, 6 times 2, and then 3 times 2, and then this is 5 times 3. And if you'll notice, we're down to primes, okay? 2, 2, okay? So now we will begin circling and crossing them out. Circle, cross out. Okay, then we have another two, circle, cross out, and then we have threes, circle, and cross out, and then the five, there's not another five, so I will circle. So now we just write down the numbers that are circled, two times three times two times five, and this will give us the lowest common denominator, two times three is six, six times two is 12 and 12 times 5 is 60. So there is our lowest common denominator. I hope that helps with finding the lowest common denominator of three or more numbers. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.